Hey guys, <clears throat> I'm back at you with another really fast, quick, cool motion tutorial. This is not going to be real in depth or involved. These are just quick little things to help you get some ideas. First thing we're going to do is type some text. Select your text tool and type in whatever text you want. I'll just type my name. I hit the escape key to get out of there, okay? <clears throat> now with your text in there, I'm going to hit the D key to bring up the dashboard. And I'm going to make my text Helvetica new, and I'm going to make it regular. I want to set the alignment to center, and I'm going to set the text text size to 225. Now I want to set the tracking to about 10. Now I'm going to position my text in the center of the canvas. Now what you have should look something like this. Now I'm going to open up my layers tab and I'm going to toggle the visibility checkbox to my text and that hides it okay. So now we're going to draw a shape. We're going to draw a circle so select your circle, hold your shift key, click and drag and it'll make a perfect circle like so. You hit the escape key to exit out of your shape drawing mode. Now with the shape selected let's go to our dashboard and set the feather to minus 20. Like so. Now we're ready to create our replicator. Okay, So let's select the circle shape and click on the replicate button in the toolbar. there now we have this replicator <clears throat> if you see it gives us this cool little pattern now with the replicator selected go to the inspector and view the replicator tab now change the shape from rectangle to image now with the replicator still selected grab the text that you wrote and drop it in the source image well Boom. Okay. Now we're going to set the arrangement to random fill. It's on tile fill now. And we're going to up the number of points by a whole lot. Almost 800. Okay, there, that's about at 800. Okay. Now I'm going to set the uh, cell controls in the replicator tab, the scale, to 80%. Like so. Now I'm going to set the scale random to 20. Now, what we got is this text here. Let's, let, let me grab my group and pull it back down so you can see it. Now this is what your text should lock, look like. Now let's go to select our replicator and go back to the replicator tab and set the emission alpha cutoff to 1%. Emission alpha cutoff is right here under your image source well. Set it to 1%. Now Okay. Now we're going to add some color. So, with the replicator selected, like so, we're going to view the replicator tab and I'm already there. Now, under the color mode, I'm going to select pick from range. Now, what you want to do is, I'm not going to sit here and finesse these colors. You want to go in and make it look however you want to look. I'm going to, try, I'm going to make it look like, I've made it look like blood. And I've saved a preset. So, I'm going to go in here and pick my bloody preset. And as you can see now, it's this red and different shades of red to make it look like like blood now let's select the parent layer of the replicator which is the main group now from the add filter toolbar menu on the library um, select the stylized extrude filter and we're going to apply it to that group and boom, this is what we get here. 
Okay, now go to the inspector and view the filters tab. Now we have our extrude parameters. Let's set the distance to 14. <clears throat> that brings back our distance a little bit. Now it's time to apply the indent filter. So let's select the parent layer of the replicator. Okay, and let's go to the toolbar up here, add filter, stylize, indent. And this gives us this bloody plasticky type of look. Now let's go to the inspector and view the filters tab and, and set the brightness. Okay, to 0 0.4. And let's set the ambient to 0 0.3. Okay, so now so far this is the tech, this is the look we got. Now let's apply a simulation to this. Okay, let's go up to behavior, simulation, random motion. Now let's turn our amount up and let's take our random motion. and apply it to the circle. Now, as you can see, when I play this, we have our text slowly coming apart. Okay? Now all I have to do is go to File, Export, Let's export this to the desktop. And let's let this export here. Because what I wanted to show you a, a way to do this. As you can see, there's a little preview here. And it just shows these uh, bloody little blobs. Rather, just kind of spreading apart. And when this gets done, I'll show it to you again. Okay, there as you can see our movie's done and it's just our blobs coming apart from our name. Okay, so now what we're going to do is let's go to our file browser and let's find this untitled. So let's uncheck this to make it disappear. Let's bring in the movie we just rendered. And there it is, as you can see when we go through, it's just our name spreading apart. What I want to do is, I'm going to go up and say add behavior, retiming, reverse. Now, when we play it, it looks like a bunch of particles scattered coming in to spell my name. Kind of like what we did in Houdini. There it goes. It's got to go through and cache once. So I'm going to let it take its time and step through this so you guys can see it. We can wait on it this way, or I can render it like this, and we can wait on it this way. So what we'll do is we'll just um, sit here and let this render, and I'll be right back. Okay, now we're back, and let me play our project. As you can see, it starts scattered out, and they come in... And it's going to spell my name. Not too bad, huh? So that, my friends, is how you kind of do the Houdini particle effect inside of motion. If you want to kind of like the... If you like the Houdini tutorial where the dust kind of came into my name or a specific shape, this is the same thing, and this is how you do it in motion. Play around with your colors, play around with your looks, and... Um, Send me your results. I'd love to see what you guys can come up with because you all never cease to amaze me. I hope you've learned something you can apply to your own daily work, and we'll see you next time.